Hi again. Little known fact, I really like reload animations. On my second channel that not all of you know I have, I did a video just looking at them on stream, and uh, turns out I have a lot of fun doing that. It seemed like something that could fit here on my main channel as well, so I had my editor Nina put together a big list of reload animations that she thinks I haven't seen yet. I'm going in blind, and I'm gonna be highly critical, because I consider myself a major enthusiast. If you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to the second channel video, where I did the same type of thing. Also, subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an upload. You can always undo it later, and only 15% of you guys have, please. Ugh, of course, the first game she puts is Valorant. I can't believe she hasn't been fired over this yet. Okay, I see what's happening here. I don't have, like, direct equivalents of these guns having reload animations in other games, but they resemble some stuff that we've seen before. Overall, it's very smooth, but I'm not seeing anything that's just, like, that extra bit of click that makes me go, oh, you know what I mean? Ooh, that sheriff one's nice. It's a little stuttery. It would have been nice if we could have seen, like, the bullets slide into the barrel, but it just, like, snaps to it. I mean, I guess it's okay. Like, it's fine. The way they animate the reloads is really fitting for the game, but unfortunately, I'm a bro shooter alpha chad, so I only like it when guns reload the exact same way they do in real life. Even if the gun didn't exist in the year the game it's in takes place. Look it up. In Black Ops Cold War, a game in the 80s, there's a gun that didn't get made until 2009 in it. But I think part of what makes those ones so satisfying is like the real weight that comes with every single mechanism in the gun. It feels kind of like your whole body is just like being moved by that cocking of the gun. You stick a single shell in it, it's like... In this, it's very floaty. Like the mag slap on that mp5 looking thing was just like a boop, boop, and it was just down immediately do you know how much like forearm strength and technique goes into that slap to make it look good here in valorant they just whiffed it and i mean i guess it's like a more whimsical game but it's pissing me off let's see what else they got to offer <laughs> the Marshall, the AK looking thing, it was going so well at first, man. Like, the way they flicked it off was really nice and satisfying. When they're going to put the mag back in, and I think this happens a lot across all the different weapons, it's less like a mag is being slotted into place, and more like there's like a really big hole there that you just gotta shove the thing into, and it'll eventually stick. Just look at how he reloads the Marshall again. The thing's like a mile wide, and he's just shoving it in there like he couldn't miss. <laughs> he's just like, he's like, boop, boop, like a dildo, man. You're only supposed to put things in holes that easily in furry porn. New CZ75 reload, let's see. <laughs> the rate of fire off of that really, like, subtle inspection surprised me. Oh, man, that's my- dude, that's my favorite kind of shit right there. If you guys aren't in, like, the know like me, there's, like, a huge community of people who animate reload animations, like, for fun. They just do clips of, like, things they did for either specific games or proof-of-concept stuff. There was this one dude, Hyper, who did, like, a lot of gag reloads that got millions of views on his YouTube channel, and then he went on to direct the animation for Modern Warfare 2019. <laughs> there's, like, real passion and, um, official industry talent behind this stuff. It's cool. And you know what? that, like, community-based animation scene gives us that we don't get for most mainline games. That's right, stuff that looks cool. Obviously, trick reloads in real life are, um, not super viable, but in an animation that you're making that doesn't even need to, like, work well in the context of a game, you can go fucking nuts. You fucking drop the mag, it goes through a portal, and then it drops back in, and suddenly your gun's full. If you have, like, a revolver, you're, like, spinning it around while, like, it drops single shells in there. A thing that really came part and parcel with me liking reload animations a bunch is, uh, I pretend to reload with my hands a Lot. It was like a bad habit I did when I was 12, and um, it got me in trouble at church a lot. I, that's the whole reason I bought this airsoft gun. It's like not because I go out and actually do that shit. It's not even for a prop in videos like this. Like, it gets used for that, but it's mostly so I can stim. I'm only this good at doing the one-handed thing because I do it so much. World's deadliest stim toy. Reload gun animation short because I just thought this? I don't know. This was posted a fucking day ago. This has 50 views, Nina. Where did you find this? You know, this is why she's not fired for playing Valorant, because she's good at her job. <laughs> so it, the part that hurts is I can't tell if this is Roblox or Minecraft. <laughs> I think that type of reload would be aesthetically charming in the right game, but um, here it just looks a little, uh, what's the word, goofy? It made me laugh, there's no way around that. I find it to be a little silly. Weird reload animation. That's the shit I love, man. This reload can be as impractical as it wants to be in a situation like this. Simulating the laws of physics and making sense in your brain is like an option, not a requirement. Cursed MP5 reload? Oh, jeez. The ones you see on TikTok are the ones that scare me the most because your gray matter decays in like a really specific way from being on TikTok for too long that it changes the way humans behave. It's completely unprecedented. It's like toxoplasmosis in cats where we first learned that they probably altered human behavior throughout history. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Dude, he's just fucking... Dude, no! That hurts to watch. No, 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 dude, dude! 
Uh, you know, he, he let, he showed me. Do not slap the mag. Be gentle. That wasn't like a, for the next 10 days you'll have bad luck curse. That was a generational curse. My entire bloodline is gonna be without clean drinking water after seeing that. Unsatisfying reload animations? Oh god. Osh, why am I doing this one to myself? Only the most tactical of reloads. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. It's just a PNG that has a moving hand. Solid image, who frames of hand motion tween to stick it in there. Listen, a lot of the motions I'm getting seen used for reloading guns in this video should be exclusive to being put in assholes, man. What are y'all doing? If you want to get a little freaky, you can try with the urethra, but that's where I draw the line. Oh, dude, I've seen that reload before. Or I've seen that gun get reloaded in Battlefield before. That's the not- that's not the real one. They're not just showing me things they made to purposefully be hard to watch. They're like actively ruining good memories I've had of other reload animations. Next time I go and watch those to wind down and relax, I'm just gonna be reminded of this horseshit. Payday 2, all reloads. This isn't a game I haven't played, so this is a live reload reaction. There's something so soft and dainty about these reloads. They're wearing like latex gloves too, like kind of the way I had to for this thing. It's like they don't want to get fingerprints or smudges or any bodily fluids on it because they really respect the value. They just pat the magazine out and then gently tug the other one back in. This is a really specific critique. It feels like the animations on the gun himself are like very snappy and nice. Like the revolver goes into the gun really quick. The slide pops back into place really nice, but then the hands are moving in slow motion. It confuses me. What type of reload speed should I be expecting here? Okay, here's a big one. Speaking of community made reload animations, this is satisfying reload animations from various Roblox games. I have heard so much about the quality of the FPSs actually made on Roblox, like Phantom Forces. Never fucking played one in my life, but I've always held them from a distance in high regard. Let's see if they hold up to scrutiny, man. That's fucking wrong, man. The first one was a Roblox character with fingers. I would rather see the incredibly high definition gun models and then the big <laughs> cube hand. When you have that handicap built in, I would use it. Like you can make shit as snappy as possible and not have to worry about fingers clipping and anything because no one expects you to have fingers. Like this is the second one. Like in that second reload, the animations are so smooth and it's a big brick doing it all, but it looks nice. Okay, no, actually I see what's happening here. Some of these are like directly imported from COD games. I know that one I just watched is from Black Ops Cold War or Modern Warfare 2019. And I know that because I've watched all the reload animations in those games too many times. God, the lighting in Roblox games is insane, man! Hey, I've definitely been missing out. Imagine if I grew up on this shit instead of Minecraft. How much smarter would I have been? Let's be honest, I'd probably have more issues. Oh, that deagle slide is sick. The, the way that like one deagle fucking pulls in, that's nice. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? Okay, this is COD Modern Warfare 2019 in Roblox. So all the Modern Warfare reloads in <gasps> Roblox, I guess. I've always wanted to see those incredibly detailed, satisfying animations with human-like texture on the skins done with block hands. I'm not even kidding when I say that. This video is going in my big playlist of reload animations. Oh shit, man. Damn, I just got lost looking at it. There's something weirdly even more satisfying when the hands are just bricks. I feel like I've been going on about those for ages, but there's something unique to it that you just don't get with normal FPSs. Splatoon reload animation? What do you even reload in Splatoon? Bottles of colored cum? That's all I see them shooting, man. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, that yellow bit does look like a really old crusted jar of cum to me. I'm gonna say my first guess was right. Either that or pee. It's a bodily fluid, all right? Get on board. Okay, so they tw twist the nozzle on the back. They're, oh my god, I knew it! I fucking knew it! They legit just shoot their colored cum out of the bottle so they can shoot it out of another place. A at this point, man, just skip the reload. Fucking get it straight from the delivery system. Jesus Christ, that was unfortunately funny. Deagle reload animation? Roblox gun testing. Okay, that's nice. Nice and clean, but nothing that I haven't seen before. Well, I haven't literally seen that one before. Ooh, Overwatch reloads. I'm mad that I've seen at least even two of these. I I've seen Genji's recently because I fell for the Overwatch 2 bullshit and actually played the game like a sucker. So I know him reloading the shurikens is at least as satisfying as I thought it was back then. So let's see if any of the others hold up.
Okay, okay, I like Divas. It's so dumb, but it's very, very stylish. It almost looks like she's getting rid of the old gun and replacing that instead. I'm a sucker for twirls, man. That looks good. Okay, I don't know why they even included Reinhardt's, because he does not have a reload animation. He's just sitting there building up some methane in his farts. That way he can light it on fire and shoot it again. That's actually how he does it in canon. Don't look it up. Roadhog's weapon is like the intentional version of what I said the Valorant guns felt like. They just have a big empty space you drop stuff in and then it'll shoot it. In here it has like a really nice crunch though, I don't know. I think on Wrecking Balls, if you could see the belt of the bullets actually like go out, there was a little more happen in there, it would be very good. As it is, I like the spinning animation, but that's all it has. That, that looks more like an inspect animation than anything, but I like the idea of the gun folding up. That's something you don't see in every game, is when the gun has mechanical parts. So stupid. At that point, why does a human have to do the reloading at all? But I like watching all the little buttons move and the plates start sliding around, making funny little noises, and I'm like, ooh! Let's look at one more. Nina has done... 